This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A case of monkeypox has been reported in Butler County. Health officials say the positive result was received from a local health care provider who tested a patient for monkeypox. The latest data from the CDC shows there have been only 75 reported cases across the entire state of Ohio. Back to school season is here and there is a new safety requirement for Kentucky schools. Each school building in every district now has to have its own school resource officer. It's something Newport Independent School District says it's already have it has across all of its campuses, but Covington says it still needs seven officers. Districts unable to meet the requirement have to come up with a plan with the Commonwealth. Kentucky leaders say they are collecting data and will release a report later this month. Bye bye, Paul Brown Stadium. Hello, Paycor. The Paul Brown lettering, see it? It was removed from the side of the Bengals' home today. That marks the end of an era for the former name. Experts tell WCPO the naming rights deal with Paycor will likely bring in between five and seven million dollars each year for the team. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Okay, Tanya, as we look at things, we're slowly clearing out around the tri-state. While we still have a chance, I think generally we're definitely going to be drier tonight. And then heading into tomorrow, we'll go from a pleasant 64 to a mild 84, mostly sunny skies. In the afternoon, there is a slight chance of maybe seeing a shower or a storm. Now, as we head through our Thursday and into Friday, Saturday, we're talking about just awesome weather. We're looking at humidity levels that are almost non-existent. It's going to be near spring-like conditions. Another chance for rain on Sunday, the first half of the day.